Hey Janee, hi. How are you, man? Hi. How are you? I'm Fine. good. Thank you. How are you? All good. All good. I'm just adjusting the phone. Yes, perfect. So, how's it going? Yeah. What's happening? How How's your time? Oh. What day? How are you enjoying uh, everything around you? Yeah, it's all good. Going good. <laughs> Waiting for cricket season and everything to get back to normal. And right. uh, yeah, just uh, practicing a little <laughs> bit. wherever we get time and wherever we get space and just working on the fitness that is the main thing we have to do we have to keep our fitness so that whenever it starts we don't lag behind so yeah going on before before i go on to how you taking care of your fitness uh just tell us a little about yourself i had the conversation with you earlier aaj humne pehle baat ki thi बट अगर आप थोड़ा सा जितने भी लोग हमारे देख रहे हैं उनको अपने बारे में बता सके थोड़ा बहुत या या प्रोफेशनली आई एम अ क्रिकेटर आई स्टार्टेड क्रिकेट व्हेन आई वाज 13 14 एंड इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग जर्नी लॉट्स ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन्स बहुत बहुत सारी चीजें बहुत मेमोरीज जोड़ी है इस क्रिकेट के जर्नी ने बहुत सारा कुछ सीखने मिला है क्रिकेट के थ्रू एंड बहुत ये जर्नी में इतनी सारी चीजें लाइफ के रिलेटेड भी सीखने मिलती है आप स्पोर्ट्स जो लाइफ के रिलेटेड सीखने मिलती है वो भी एक बहुत बड़ा सबक होता है और वो लाइफ जीने के लिए आसान करता है आगे चल के एंड क्रिकेट आर प्लेड for bombay i have been playing uh, i have been playing bombay in bombay club cricket for last 10 15 years and uh, i am playing a division cricket for 10 years last 10 years and this year finally uh, i played for uh, first class cricket in sri lanka i have represented uh, university of mumbai and yeah that's till now the journey superb so jene that's that's a superb you you've played that a class cricket you you reached here now you've played uh, at sri lanka as well uh, jene tell us yeah. number one how do you take care of your fitness fitness basically we have uh, fitness you have to follow diet as well and your fitness your body as well so uh, firstly running is very important in cricket uh we have to run a lot plus strength training uh, right now the gyms are closed so whatever weight training we have to do is our body weight training the push ups and the squats and lunges all those things pull up that is the normal activity right now going on uh, but running yes we can do a lot of sprints we we focus on sprints uh, it depends on bowler and batsman bowlers normally uh, do sprints uh, long strides and sprints and batsmen have to do short uh, shuttle runs like uh, like three runs four runs so like that we have to do so it's basically specific for batsmen it's different for wicket keepers it's different and for bats uh, bowlers it's different so yeah right. it's combination of lot of things like uh, we have to do one day you have to sprint the other day you have to do agility the third day you have to do long distance running so it it it's a combination of lot of things but yeah we are missing gym gyms right now strength training is uh, a bit lagging behind but yeah we are we are up to that mark we are we have compensated for that by doing squats and lunges and all those things plus right. diet healthy diet is important with that Now Geneva. Uh, before we, uh, you know, go, it's pronounced as Geneva or Geneva. Geneva. Yeah, it's, Geneva. it's a tricky okay. name. <laughs> yeah. Geneva. Uh, so Geneva. Before we head further, I want to know how did this journey of cricket actually start for you? Let's go back a couple of years. I actually want to know more about how how was it that the first time you picked up a bat or a ball. Were your parents supportive? How yeah. did all of that happen? So let's go back a couple of years. Yeah, it was long back when I was ten, uh, eleven. When I used to play cricket with my dad in the passage in the building, and 
from there only the journey started that liking for the sport i always i was always looking forward to playing with dad at home wherever i used to get chance and uh, then one day uh, my dad took me to an academy it's in borivli in mumbai uh, where i went for the under 14 selections and i was selected for under 14 summer camp and uh, from there the serious cricket started i thought of playing with the elder people and then right. that competitiveness came and slowly slowly gradually uh, that journey started and the support uh, that parent support is the most important thing in any performing field and i have been very lucky like till now they have never forced me to do anything else other than cricket uh, there were times there were hard times when i i thought of quitting it but then uh, they were supportive enough they were so supportive that uh, they said that uh, this is not it you have to keep going and uh, you never know when you get success in such fields because you might not get you might get but they were like you have one life follow it follow your passion and make sure you just enjoy the process don't think about the result just enjoy it till you want to enjoy it right so the support was amazing i'm i'm in lucky from my family that very thankful to them super so tell us a little bit about jini tell us a little bit about your coach uh, how big of a factor were your coach and maybe a couple of or some interesting incident that happened with your coach as well coaches there will there will lot of coaches who have helped me i cannot name one or two coaches because every stage i have met very many coaches and uh, everyone have given me small bit of changes i'll be helpful and thankful to each and every one of them but yeah my first coach uh, was mr sanjay gaitonde sir uh, he was my first coach and basically i was under 14 under 15 i was a bowler and i remember this first incident when i became a batsman that was overnight batsman that right. uh, i was a bowler and uh, it was a wet wicket and uh, my coach said that let us uh, give bowlers a chance so that their wicket goes so the wicket might get easier right so i went i opened the inning and they were not considering me that i'll i'll perform or anything else but yeah i scored a 100 in that match it wow. was a practice game it it was not a official tournament but yeah i got that opportunity and in that match i scored a 100 so from that day uh, sanjay sir told me that you have a little bit of your batting skill as well you focus on that as well so it turned out to be so effective that now i am a, only a batsman and i'm not a bowler super yeah so was, there are a lot of coaches right so tell me when yeah. when you go out to bat on the field right aap aap khade ho crease pe samne se bowler aa raha hai pehle is what huh. is i wouldn't say a weak point uh, but what kind of bowls do you is something that you're not super is it spin uh medium pace what kind of bowls do you like not like how does that work for you yeah um basically an opening batsman they like pace and pace. they like pace on the because they are used to batting with new balls and normally uh pace bowlers are always we face right. um but yeah these days uh, there are spinners bowling with new balls there are so any opening batsman if you say they'll be always tentative with new ball spinners always because they are not used to facing spinners and slow deliveries up front right because we always take time to get the ball feel and then we get that uh, singles and doubles going on so yeah right tentatively these things the slow bowlers are a bit tricky for me slow bowlers i i i like pace on the ball right and jeev yeah. if i have to ask you who's your favorite player currently in the 
in the indian cricket team um lots many yeah because each and everyone is so talented right now but uh, yeah prithvi shaw and shreya sayar they stand out to me obviously virat is is a part like he has done such great things for indian team but yeah prithvi and i shreya sayar because i have played with them uh, i played with them from for 4 to 5 years and they have been uh, the way they have cemented their place in the indian team that is that is great and it's a great feeling and rohit sharma as well he is he is superb right super so tell me about your favorite innings what would be that one inning that that's your favorite <laughs> for watching on tv which you fondly remember since you are a batsman now so there must be a lot of them uh, uh my innings or the players no, no. like i'll speak about your innings as well for sure but like oh uh, sorry sorry gently <laughs> okay uh, gently about any indian uh, player or any yeah yeah indian player, player. yeah indian player i'll definitely remember sachin sir's uh, sharjah knock those oh, yes. two innings semi final and final that is that is uh, actually everyone's favorite we yeah. all have seen that inning uh, that is one inning which everyone the 90s kids the 80s kids they have seen it and it's like uh, unmatchable Like any imagine. other inning absolutely uh, right and uh, what would be your favorite international player international player yeah uh, kevin peterson i used to follow him a lot in his playing days okay. the attitude which we he used to come to bat and the uh, the way he used to play his shots it was completely different he used to walk around and play the flicks and right. uh play over the covers and the pull shot mm. and the way he used to walk after hitting the shot the attitude he used to have he used to dominate uh great bowlers like Shane Warne and uh Glenn McGra the ashes 2005 ashes everyone remembers that so yeah i used to admire him a lot right. plus ricky ponting was one these are great players they are you cannot name one or two but yeah there are many great but yeah kevin peterson was one of my favorite uh, so international players yeah right yeah so uh, before we head on to speak about the most important topic in the room which is ipl for everyone right uh, i have yeah. asked what you feel which is your favorite cricketing test format uh, tests t20s odis what do you like most uh actually one day internationals are uh, i like i prefer the most because in that you can play the mixture of both uh, because uh, initially you uh, you can be aggressive for the first power play right. in the last part also the fi- last 5 10 overs you can be aggressive right. and in the middle part you can take your own time you can nudge around you can take singles and you can uh just uh, build your innings like you do in test cricket you can take your time so this gives a complete package i feel right one day for me one day is it's it's like a good thing you you don't need to hurry for runs you can take your time as well as you you cannot be laid back and say okay i'll like test matches that you can take lot of time right you have to be with that thing going on yeah absolutely absolutely so jini what are your what are your favorite kind of shots when you're batting what's that one favorite shot that you play a lot on the field uh square cut is my favorite shot uh, like anything any anything outside the off stump i like to hit square cut yeah. that that is one one shot which i like the most super super So we'll speak uh, something about the technique as well, Geneve. How important is technique to you while you're batting? There are there are a lot of different school of thoughts on techniques and how you bat. A lot of people yeah. like such the way he bats. Virat bats in a very different way. Uh, what what are your takes on the technique while batting? Yeah, 
टेक्निक इज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट दीज डेज देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ क्रिकेटर्स हु डन वंडर्स विदाउट टेक्निक लाइक यू कैन से माही महेंद्र सिंह धोनी ही इज टेक्निकली नॉट दैट ग्रेट बट ही हैज डन एक्सेप्शनली वेल फॉर इंडियन टीम हिज ही इज वेरी डिफरेंट these days but yeah you have to have your basics right basics are the most important thing your technique can go here and there little bit but your basic thing should be very very important that is that is very important there are a lot of players who have done very good with different techniques as well like uh, shiv narayan chandrapal right now when morgan ms dhoni these people have changed the way um, what technique is but right. yeah their basics are very strong so very there strong. is a little bit of yeah basics are very important in cricket right so jeev let me uh, you know let me ask you which was your favorite your own innings right or one of your most favorite yeah. matches a little about that uh favorite inning you can say this year when i played there are there were many favorite innings before as well but this was my first first class 100 when i scored in sri lanka that was my that was my best innings because uh it was a very uh, damp wicket it was wet wicket and the coach i was told that the last the previous match the team got all out for 49 and we lost the toss and we had to bat so the coach told us that uh, you have to score only 50 runs in the first session that would be great without losing wicket so i was like uh, uh, okay we'll try that but when i went to bat it was very difficult to bat and i thought that if you keep defending here you won't score runs you might get a good ball and you get out so i started playing shots and in the first session itself uh, we scored 140 odd runs and i scored uh, 110 runs in 78 balls wow that's crazy so and and that was my first first class 100 as well so Uh, that will be one of the most special knocks for me because we were not expecting that much runs i personally right. was not expecting that that will happen so right. so, so it just happened that chain fernando is saying i was at the other end remember yeah he was my sachin fernando he was my opening partner right. uh, he opened with me in all the uh, first class matches in sri lanka Super. great player he is also one of the best players super yeah. so jeev now uh, let me go to the most talked about thing right now which is the indian premier league right uh, yeah. what are your takes on today's match and which team are you supporting as well it's mumbai indians versus rajasthan royals today uh, so, yeah ah uh, definitely mumbai not because from because i'm from mumbai but uh, the way they are batting right now uh, they are batting till they are bat- batting very deep right. and uh, last match kunal pandya got four balls and he scored 20 yeah, so we can imagine how depth they have in their bat- batting lineup and right. everyone is in form right now polard he is in very great form and hardik pandya rohit sharma we all know what he can do yeah. last match quinton decock uh, quinton decock he he got among some runs Ishan Kishan and obviously their bowling lineup is also Bumrah very good Bumrah yeah. Bumrah Trent Bolt everyone so as a unit they look really very good so yes today i'm supporting mumbai indians they are superb so i hope they win uh, is it going to be a high scoring match today what score are you expecting today uh it depends if Mumbai are batting first yeah i am expecting they'll score at least around about 180 to 200 right uh, 
so it might be a high scoring game and yes rajasthan royals also has uh, great good players steve smith they have sanju samson who is batting really well so yeah they have all both teams have lot of good players good batsmen right so yeah i feel it will be a high scoring game uh, ronak sharma is saying how do you prepare mentally before a game yeah i i used to think a lot before before like uh, one or two years back i used to think a lot i used to prepare a lot like uh, how i'll do what i'll face uh, what will happen i used to think a lot of thoughts but after you can say last last one year one year i am going blank i don't think anything right i don't think about the result i don't think anything on the match day whatever i have to prepare i do it one day before whatever i have done in the nets that is the preparation after the nets one day before the match i don't think anything about the match it's so better to go blank With otherwise you have yeah uh, otherwise you have thoughts if it a good thought if it's a positive thought a negative thought but you keep on staying in that zone of that thought and you don't uh, really you don't feel you are there you are right you're mentally blocked so i don't prepare much before the match super uh, so jinev just your last thoughts on who's winning it today i feel mumbai 100% mumbai indians are going to win the match it's like super yeah. so jay this was this was a great session that we had for you uh, we at doctor yeah. med as we always say stay immunized stay safe take care of your health stay fit like you said yeah. you know work out at home gyms yeah. are closed but it's okay to stay fit uh, work out uh, uh, you know at home also uh, we at doctor med as are also doing a competition known as maha immunity premier league mipl okay where you can go participate guess who's going to win the match or how many runs to score every day there is a question and at the end of the contest we are giving out like an iphone bose headphones uh, a smart oh, tv the yeah. smart tv so there are a lot of uh, prizes in that we hope you play as well your friends play as well sure uh, i will yeah uh, before uh, going there's this one quick question that i want to ask you is what is your mind uh, when facing the first ball yeah yeah that's what i told you i don't think about please, that please. first delivery it's it's uh, you if you think at least one thought now one then then multiple thoughts come so right. it's better to not think anything just be prepared for the ball and right. just watch the ball that is the main thing when any batsman faces watching the ball is the most important thing rather than thinking what he'll bowl how he'll bowl and super super so jidi we wish you yeah. all the very best for your future i hope to see you playing for the indian cricket team very soon thank you very uh, much <laughs> out there and to see you in you. all the formats wish you all the best jidi thank you for joining us thank you very much thank you for having me thank you thank Hi guys my name is Arjun Vaidya and I'm the CEO of Dr Vaidya's. I hope you like what you heard. If you want more content on health and Ayurveda in the 21st century, please click the subscribe icon. We've got a lot more coming for you.